Random file names like IMG1234 or DCIM0001 don't tell you anything about your photos. And when you have thousands of images, finding the right one becomes nearly impossible. But what if I told you there's a simple way to name your photos so you can instantly find what you need, keep everything organized and future-proof your collection. In this video, I'll walk you through the best file naming conventions for photo organization, including how to batch rename files quickly. And stick around to the end because I'll share my game-changing tip that will save you hours when managing large photo collections. Why a file renaming system is essential. Before we jump into the best naming conventions, let's talk about why this is so important. When you have thousands of photos stored across different devices, a clear structured naming system helps you in multiple ways. First, it allows you to find your photos quickly without having to open each file and check what's inside. If you've ever spent ages scrolling through a massive folder looking for one specific photo, you'll understand how much time a proper naming system can save you. Next, a good naming structure prevents duplicate files from creeping into your collection. Have you ever ended up with multiple copies of the same image or with slightly different names. Using a set structure ensures that everything is labeled correctly so you won't accidentally store the same photo twice. Another major benefit is that structured file names help you with sorting and organizing automatically. When you name your files correctly, they naturally appear in the right order in your folders, meaning you won't have to manually drag and drop them into place. And finally, it makes backing up your collection much easier. Whether you're storing files on an external hard drive, cloud storage, or in a photo management system, having proper names ensures that everything is transferred and stored in a logical, searchable format. The best file naming conventions. Now that you know why a solid file name system is so useful, let's go through the best way to actually name your files. These naming conventions will help you stay organized while keeping things simple and easy to search. Number one, use the date format year, month, day. The first and most important element in your file name should always be the date the photo was taken. Use a four digit year, two digit month, and two digit day format. Ensures that your photos stay in perfect chronological order when viewing your photos in a folder. For example, Let's say you took a family photo on the 15th of July, 2023. Instead of letting it stay as image 1234, rename it as 2023-07-15. Now, if you ever need to find that photo from a specific time, they will be sorted automatically. Avoid using formats like day, month, and year because they won't sort correctly on most computers. If you use year, then month, then day, your photos will sort by year and month, then day, which is exactly what you want when organizing a large collection. Number two, add a brief description. After the date, add a short description that tells you what the photo is about. This makes it easier to find later, especially when searching for specific events or memories. For example, instead of just using 2023-07-15, rename it 2023-07-15 family barbecue or 2022-12-25 Christmas morning. This means that if you ever want to find all your Christmas morning photos, you can simply search for Christmas in your file explorer and they will appear instantly. Number three, use underscores or dashes for clarity. When adding descriptions, avoid using spaces in your file names. Some computer systems and cloud storage services don't handle spaces well, and they may be replaced with strange symbols or cause issues when moving files. Instead, use either underscores or dashes to separate words. For example, instead of writing this, write this. So a bit of dashes and some underscores to make it clear. This keeps your file names clear and readable across all devices, whether you're using Windows, Mac, or cloud storage. 
Number four, number multiple photos from the same event. If you have several photos from the same event, it's a good idea to add a sequence number to keep them in order. For example, let's say you took a series of photos at that family barbecue. Instead of leaving them with the random camera generated names, rename them as 2023 07 15 family barbecue number one, number two, number three, you get the idea. This ensures your images stay in the correct order and makes it easier to manage large batches of photos. My pro tip is that it can be very tempting to go wild with your renaming. Just remember to keep it simple and to the point. And keep in mind that file names have a length limit. In Microsoft Windows, the default limit is 256 characters, which includes the file name and all parent directories. So don't go wild. But what if naming all your photos is the least of your problems and you're struggling with managing your photo collection across different devices, figuring out what's backed up and trying to keep everything organized, then you might want to check out my Photo Messed Success courses. They are designed to help you get every photo into one place, declutter your library and create a system that actually works without the stress of losing anything important. If that sounds like something you need, you can check it all out at photomesssuccess.co.uk, where I will take you from photo mess to mastery one step at a time. But for now, on to my bonus tip. Bonus tip, use automatic tools to batch rename. If you want to speed up the renaming process, automatic renaming tools are the way to go. Instead of manually renaming each file, Start by organizing your folders with a clear structured names like 2023-06 Holiday Spain or 2024-01 Emma's Birthday. Once your folders are named properly, tools like a Better Finder Rename for the Mac or Bulk Rename Utility for the PC can automatically rename all the photos inside based on the folder name. This means you get a clean, organized photo collection in just a few clicks. This is a game changer, especially when sorting large batches of photos quickly. And there you have it, the ultimate guide to file naming conventions for photo organization. By following this system, you'll never struggle to find a photo again. Your collection will be searchable, structured, and easy to maintain for years to come. But what if you want to find out a little bit more about those battery naming tools, then check out these videos next. If you found this helpful, then give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more photo organizing tips. Have fun rediscovering your memories. I'll see you in my next video.